And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Portugal, and they take on Spain. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Joao Moutinho in central midfield. And leading the line today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the lineup for Spain. Sergio Roberto plays with Marcos Alonso in the fullback positions. Coque starts with Rodri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the match is underway. Ronaldo feeds it. Jota. On to Bruno Fernandes. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Diogo Jota. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Jota. And barring the door was Laporte. Under a fair bit of pressure. Throw-ins given. Ronaldo. Can he convert? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough.
Well, a second goal for them here. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But nothing comes of it. Cristiano Ronaldo. And this is Diogo Jota now. Palinha. Possession one. Now potential danger. And they need to get tighter. Sarabia. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Bruno Fernandes. Now with Silva. It's with Laporte. Ferran Torres. For attacking possibilities. Koke. An attack full of promise. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And they could get one back here. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, let's take another look at this because the Maradona turn to beat his marker is brilliant. He just leaves his man for dead and opens up the space to finish. What a great goal that was. Well, 2-1 it is here. Guerrero. Pepe. Bruno Fernandes. Joao Cancelo. Palinha. Cristiano Ronaldo and Palinha with it did well to win the ball back Garcia Coque with it Ferran Torres I must say this looks promising and return to Coque and very deftly cut out. Cristiano Ronaldo. Difficult to stop him. And after the cross, defensive action called for. Well, no damage done. Sergio Roberto. Eric Garcia. Sergio Roberto. Ferran Torres. How about the cross? Just not looking confident in possession. Good physical play. Martinho. Bernardo Silva cutting in what can he do from this position and the goal is his they lead by two now fully deserved well just look at how poor the defending is here but I have to say it's still a very tidy finish he looked really assured there It is 3-1 the current scoreline here.
Eric Garcia. Sergio Busquets. Good looking sequence. And let's give credit to the defending. Koke. Sergio Roberto. Now Busquets. Rodri. Sergio Busquets. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Ferran Torres. Can he do it? They still believe. Well, let's take another look. And I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, on the first 45, breathtaking stuff from Bruno Fernandes. What would you say about his contribution? Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the backline all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. Underway once more, it's advantage Portugal after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Diogo Jota. It's with Moutinho. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. And the problem not completely solved. And in the end, no damage done. Laporte. Now Busquets. Garcia. Torres. Playing with purpose and control. Ferran Torres. And the cross is very much on. In search of space. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And Koke with the delivery. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Koke. Marcus Alonso. Unable to trouble the defence with that cross. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Diogo Jota. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, no surprise there, Spain have had most of the possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. And intercepted it. Well, possibilities in the centre. Rodri. Decent position. On to Koke made sure nothing came of that a very effective challenge put in Cristiano Ronaldo now with Silva Pepe 
Ruben Neves. The ball with Pepe. Moutinho. Effective looking pass. Joao Cancelo. And Moutinho with it. Moutinho. Can he take this chance? The net is staring him in the face. And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? It's Bernardo Silva. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Here it is now, a substitution. Who can they pick out? And he's clear as lines. Into the final 20 minutes. Cristiano Ronaldo. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Couldn't hang on to it. What can they do from here? Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Excellent ball over the top. And he's found a bit of daylight. Ronaldo holds on to it, waiting for assistance. Oh, the threat is there. And it might be. Who's going to win this joust? Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Trying to pick out a teammate. I couldn't get it past that first defender. Bernardo Silva keeping possession of the ball with authority. And well, a good tackle. Pablo Sarabia and intercepted it Bruno Fernandes here's Bernardo Silva Bruno Fernandes and lining it up Ronaldo it could be up for grabs I think the threat has been averted. Oyar Sabal. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Ruben Neves. Now there to intercept. Morata. This looks promising. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know this game they might yet be able to level it well here's the replay and you see it was a good finish but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better he's got to have that near post covered for me
Well, how about this? 4 3. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what a game this has been. Some of their attacking play has been absolutely brilliant. And there's been some great individual performances as well. But they've been far too open to the counter-attack. And that's why they're still clinging on here. Morata. Space afforded him. Well, still pressing for a goal here. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. A sloppy in possession. This could level it! Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Koke. The ball with Marcos Alonso. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed.